Hi dolls, welcome back to my channel. So this is probably gonna be my first, it is my first story time. So basically I just wanted to talk, just to talk to you guys, you know. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a very eventful or it was something major for me that happened in my life. I lost my grandmother last year, June 2015, 2016. And it, it was something that was very, very, it is something that has left me very empty. I am still dealing with it every day. I have not gotten over the fact that my grandmother is not here with me anymore. And I cannot pick up my phone and call and speak to her. Uh, it's hard to cope with the fact that she's not there at home. I have to go by her graveside to visit her and when I speak to her no one will she will not respond it's very hard to know that I'm dealing with this um, I'm sure everyone else in my family they're dealing with the lost probably in their own way because everyone deal with their loss differently but for me it was very high my grandmother was dear to me she still is she's very very dear to me i feel so empty knowing that my grandmother died the bible tells you that death is sure and that's the only thing that is certain in life one of the only thing there probably there probably are but for me that is the only thing that is certain one of the only thing that is really certain in life death uh losing my grandmother was or is it's hard it's hard I grew up with my grandmother I grew up with my grandmother my grandmother my grandmother and I did stuff together experienced stuff together she she taught me stuff there are just stuff that no one has ever shown and she was the only one that did um it is so hard like I I think about her every day to the point where I've been I've started I've been thinking lately like is this normal like am I supposed to be doing this and it's not like it's not a case where I get up and I'm doing it it's a case where it just happens like she just come or thought of her just come to me and I cannot it's not something that I control or have I have any control over it just comes to me like uh sometimes i tell my husband like this cannot be right this cannot be real like you know when you were younger and or not even younger you know when you have your first heartbreak and you are for some people they don't sleep they don't eat they can't do this they can't do that or there there's just this sink there's just this emptiness inside and you thought well you pro at that time you were probably thinking that that's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. I'm telling you, if you have ex if you have lost someone that you truly love, then you will know by now that a heartbreak from a relationship, man, boyfriend, that's nothing. Like what boyfriend? What man? What you talking about? I love my grandma dearly. I, I just feel so empty without her like I know I'm ranting and I'm going on and on and on about my grandmother but it's hard to lose someone and um, especially when you didn't get to see them before they passed when you didn't get to have that conversation with them you know like we we spoke but there are things that I would have wanted to do to you know for her to be there there are so many things that I would have wanted you know to share with her to do with her and I just didn't get the time like God's timing is his timing but I say this to say that like if there's anything that you want to do for anyone that you care about in your life do it now because when they leave if they leave You just never know how you will feel you know and not everyone can deal with it 
it's been hard for me like I cried so 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 hard I cried so hard it was I just that it was my first day on my job and I was at work and my cousin called me and I'll never forget it's Omar my cousin called me and he's like and I missed the call but because it was from a number that I didn't know it was, no it was my brother who had called me Stephen I missed the call because I didn't know the number I didn't answer it and then when I left work I checked my phone and I got a voice was it when I left work I, I got a voice message or I left work and then I got a message from my cousin and he left me a voice note and he was crying and he was like cuz oh my god It's like my world fall, fell apart. It's like I didn't know myself. I remember my husband and I, we were driving. We were going to get food. And we were driving. And I remember I just started to scream. And it's like he knew. It's like he knew. Because she wasn't feeling well. But we weren't expecting that. That comes on its own time. You don't know when that is coming. You know? I was screaming and I was screaming and I was just screaming and I was just crying. I, I believe I cried for two hours consistently because it was so hard knowing that she died and I didn't get to see her before she died. It's so hard, you know? She, my grandmother was a beautiful woman. She was amazing. She was amazing. When you talk about love, she loved us all. She loved her kids. She loved her grandkids. Anyone that came across my grandmother, she she was just that person in the community that was known. Everyone knew my grandmother. She was a person in the community. You could go to my grandmother. You could pass by her house and you could call her Tita. She's always on her veranda sitting down. You can always, you should, you, you can people passing by they always pass and just sit for a minute and just talk to my grandmother and then they continue on the journey wherever they're going like oh my god dolls for those who still have their grandparents for those who have lost their grandparents my condolences and I must say that that is not something that can be handled you have to just get day by day I guess you get through it or you grow through it I don't even know but it's almost a year she died last June it's almost a year and I don't know how, how I will get through the continue to get through this but I'm just praying each day for comfort ask God to comfort me through through this journey that I have to go through um, I don't think many persons understand how much losing my grandmother meant but for those who do you're much appreciated much much appreciated um, I pray that God will comfort anyone who has lost anyone that is dear to them and for those who still have your loved ones close to you that you cherish please let all your loved one know how much you care for them Sh let them know just show love because you just don't want to be left empty it's not a good feeling I'm telling you it's not a good feeling and what I use on a daily basis or whenever her memories of her comes to me and I think about her I just use the great times that I shared with her the great moments that we had as grandmother to granddaughter as family I just use those memories to carry me through because if not then you will lose your way and if you're a big warrior like me I worry a lot I, I've been praying about it I've been trying not to worry so much if you're a big warrior like me you will just sit and think on it it's not that's I don't think that's normal I don't think that's healthy so I pray on it and I try not to do that and what I do is try to use her memories that I have to carry me on and those have those memories has comfort me and I find comfort in them because I think back on her and I think back on events and I think back on stuff that we did and those bring life to my life and um, I just want to say that in life the only thing is certain is death 
go out and get your life go out and do whatever it is that you want to do go out and live tomorrow is never promised we have today only today so let's make the best of today while we prepare for tomorrow and when tomorrow come let's make the best of tomorrow while we prepare for the other day and that's how we're gonna take it in stages for me that's of what I do because you never know you just never know and be grateful be thankful and anything that is not meant to be in your life anything that is not meant for you if it goes let it go that is that is how I am dealing with it. if it goes let it go uh, at times there are people there are things in your life that will rub you the wrong way hurt you the wrong way and they probably they're probably hurting you and they're probably been hurting you for some while and because they're so caught up in themselves they will not even realize that they have been hurting you or that you you are, you're hurt or they have hurt your feelings because everyone we're all selfish in our own way we are all selfish in our own way and everyone is selfish uniquely I don't know if that makes sense but sometimes you find that people will rub you the wrong way and you just have to find ways to deal cope as a person so that you don't lose yourself and move on sometimes when you find when whatever way you find to cope you might find that that in coping whatever measures whatever steps you have taken to cope or to deal with you as a person whatever it is it might not be what other people are pleased with but at the end of the day, what matters is that you're sane. What matters is your sanity and what matters is your well-being. So if we all have to be selfish for our well-being, I'm all for it. Uh, being selfish for your own well-being doesn't mean that you're ungrateful. doesn't mean that you're not thankful. People will see it that way. But sometimes you just have to let it go just let it go like don't be too hard on yourself don't be too hard on yourself like if there are things you want to do enough just go out and do it do not procrastinate no more do not sit and say oh it's too hard or you can't do it or I can't I can't no I can I can go out and do it stop telling yourself you can't tell yourself that you can just go out and do it do not do not waste no more time thinking that you are not good enough or that you cannot do something go out and do it because we don't know what tomorrow brings we don't know we don't know uh, find something separate and apart from being self-motivated I find inspiration in other things along with the Bible along with reading inspiration being being inspired and staying motivated motivated is something that is very big for me find things that will do that for you don't forget to be awesome this is my simple thing one of my simple things don't forget to be awesome you know find things that will push you find things that will show you that you wanted to this this is still lingering over here hey don't forget find things that is a reminder go and do it like do not do not waste any more time trying to be a certain way in people's eye when those same people are not even interested in your well-being you know um People do things for different reasons in life and sometimes those will close and you will not get the chance to speak on those doors that have closed and things will be left to linger in while those doors are closed sometimes you just have to live with it and leave it sometimes those doors have to just linger while you get on with your life find closure for yourself find closure for yourself because they have this thing that is saying, if it's not one way, it's the other. And if, if, if something is meant to be, it will be. And if something is not meant to be, then it's just not meant to be. So I hope you guys are working on yourselves and trying to make you guys a better person um, for you. Focus on your well-being. Focus on 
your self growth focus on where you want to be in life and what is it, what it is that tickles your fancy you know um, do not be demotivated by negativity negativity should be a form of motivation to push you further as to where you want to go where you want to be to push you further to gravitate to your success as to what you want to acquire so do not let negativity be that thing where it's a deterrence to where you want to be in life you know so do it and be positive at all times it's not it's not natural to be positive at all times you will have times when you feel you know like what if or should I but you can have those thoughts just don't dwell on them uh, stay positive try to find ways to be inspired and stay motivated reading for me I read books I read the Bible I pray you know I find a little joy in little quotes like these sometimes you can talk to people who you know you are secured with sometimes you really don't wanna sometimes there are times when you're going through stuff and like you just want people to listen people will not always just listen people will always have an opinion people will always have their own view not because someone has a view on something doesn't mean that that is your way doesn't mean that that is your path uh, sometimes listening just having someone who will listen to you and just to share your thoughts with is good if you can find that person then you can you use that uh, just find ways to stay grounded you know just find ways to stay grounded and do not do not do not let the naysayers pull you down I hope I didn't bore you guys too much this video is really really long I hope I didn't bore you guys too much. I do thank you guys for watching. I do thank you guys for subscribing. And uh, I hope I can continue to engage you guys while I share my views on different stuff. And I hope uh, we can both en entertain each other and we can all learn from each other. Don't forget to share your comments below if you have anything you want to say. And uh, I'm open to sharing views with everyone and thank you so much again for watching and please remember to like and subscribe thank you doll and I'll see you in my dolls I have a lot of dolls now thank you dolls and I'll see you in my next video